In painting has arrived in mid-journey and we're about to get artsy. Ever stared at an image thinking, perfection? Uh, but wait, what's that in the background? Or what's up with that deformed hand? Small imperfections really ruin your images. But there's some great news. Midjourney has rolled out a new in-painting tool, and I'm here to show you how to use it. This is the tool we've been waiting for. Can we really transform those almost there images into masterpieces? Well, let's find out. In-painting is like having an eraser for life's messy art projects. Choose a part of the image you want to change, and with a wave of the AI wand, poof, the pesky object has vanished or been transformed into something beautiful. Imagine being able to erase that pesky photobomber or fill in the missing piece of a mustache. That's in-painting. Other AI image generators like DALI include an in-painting tool, and Adobe recently released Generative Fill in Photoshop Beta. So there's nothing new about the tool itself, but Midjourney's the first Discord-based AI image generator to crack the case. Let's take a look. Midjourney's in-painting comes disguised as a very region button. It's not very descriptive, but the tool packs a punch. Here's how it works. Run your prompt as normal and upscale an image. Next to very strong and very subtle, you'll see a new button, very region. Click the very region button and your image opens in a new workspace. You have two selection options, a rectangular marquee selector and a sort of a lasso tool. Select a part of the image you want to change. The checkerboard area is what you want changed. In the prompt box, type what you want to see instead. Click Generate. Like with normal generations, you'll get four images in a grid. The selection tools are a bit like trying to paint with mittens on, so they take some getting used to. Click an area and kind of twirl it around. You can add to your selection with another twist. Click the reverse arrow to undo your selection. Does very region always work? Well, no. And sometimes the results are a bit comical. The Midjourney team says the tool works best when you're changing a large area in your image, somewhere between 20 and 50%. If you make a selection that's too small, you'll get an error. I'm making t-shirt designs with a ChatGPT prompt. And every once in a while, a journey will put the design on a t-shirt. Let's see if I can take it out. Nope, I get more t-shirt. If you don't like the result, go back to the original upscale and click Very Region again. Midjourney remembers your selection, so change the selection or change the prompt. Try a couple of different prompts and give it a few re-rolls. Midjourney's in-painting tool is a great way to remove that garbled text from your image. The Very Region button appears under your new upscales, but what if you want to renovate your old, dusty upscales? Here's a hack. Click Custom Zoom and zoom in one time. Click Return. You'll get a new grid of four images and they'll look pretty much like your original upscale. Choose one and upscale, and you have the very region button. It even works on V4 images. Will very region always grant your artistic wishes? Well, no. Sometimes it's like asking for a unicorn and getting a donkey with a party hat. And sometimes the result isn't very harmonious with the overall vibe of your image, especially if you're trying to add something out of whack with your image. But when it works, wow, it's like hitting the creative jackpot. Very Region is a new way of interacting with your mid-journey images. Trying to get rid of that garbled text or turn a t-shirt into a fashion statement? Mid-journey's got you covered. Well, sort of. Very Region isn't exactly a delicate magic wand that will fine-tune your images. 
Right now, it's more of a club with a bit of wizardry. The tool might have a hiccup or two for now, but watch this space and keep experimenting. Share your tips for in-painting in the comments below. If this video was helpful, sprinkle some magic on that like button and subscribe to the channel. This is Jen at Making the Photo. Let's make something amazing together. <laughs>